Okay, once you have installed TrueNAS, you need to create a storage pool with the drives you have and also a share. So you need to go to the IP address of your or the name of your TrueNAS and log in and root and the password you entered but during installation. Very secure for this test. So this is the default dashboard. Get the information about CPU and stuff, the hard drives. This is CPU, 40 degrees. And what you need to do is first, let's see, I'm going to have that. Uh, I'm going to create a pool, storage pool, and then you do that under storage here, click storage. And then pools. There's nothing here, so you click add and create a new pool. And here are the available drives um, right now. So I'm going to use every one of these if you have different sizes. Um, drive size to drives, like you have a two terabyte or whatever. It's going to have a button that says suggest layout. I'm having the same drives here, so I just click everyone here. So everyone is selected. And then I click this arrow here. So they will be moved here. And it's recommended recommends RAID Z2, which is a basically RAID 10. So it's going to create two mirrored. Um, erase and then raid zero over that but I will lose half the data so I don't want that and you see how much storage you will have I will lose half the data so I just click the little arrow here change that to regular raid Z so I can lose one drive it's basically raid 5 and I get almost three terabyte of data of the four terabyte total storage and one thing I forgot up here is to name this um, pool I just have it uh, if you're going to have different uh, storage pools pool <laughs> I suggest you have to name them differently Uh, this is one storage pool, so storage pool. And yeah, down here, just create. Confirm box, and then create pool. So now you got a storage pool where you can store stuff on. There is some... Uh, overlay or some overhead stuff on the drive as well. Then you need to create a share, a window share on this pool or Mac share and that's what you do under sharing here to the left. And I'm going to do a Windows share. So I'm clicking add and path to that should be Okay, uh, where did it go? Oh, over here. Storage pool. And you click on it and it will show up here on the path. I want to have the share over there. And I'm just going to name this uh, storage. This share will be called storage. Um, and I'm just going to have the default parameters here. Uh, nothing else. Uh, advanced options. Nope. Don't need anything there. So submit. And the first time you're doing this, uh, everything is sort of disabled. So it 
it asks you if you want to enable the share service, the SMB share service. Yes, I do. It will enable it. And it's been enabled, so close. So now I got a Samba share. And now I'm actually going to create a user that can access this stuff. And you do that under accounts, over here at the top almost, and users. Uh, okay. So add for the username. Uh, well, Whatever your uh, name is, <laughs> and then you need a username. Uh, it can be anything. Uh, yeah, it can be with. For now, you don't need any email uh, password. Confirm password. And then primary group, uh, it's going to be, okay, deselect that. And primary group is going to be wheel. And then secondary group should be, Where is it? Uh, Built-in users. Let's see if it is here. Maybe it's not. Yeah, there it is. Built-in users. And then at the bottom here, make sure it's Microsoft account. It's checked. Submit. And this is the username that you're going to log in with when you actually mount the share. And now we're actually going to the shell. Hit the left at the bottom, almost shell, because we're going to make some changes in the permissions stuff. So cd slash mn mount. Let's see, and do ls over here. So here you can see it says uh, storage pool. That's the name of the storage pool. And then we're going to type chmod and 770. And then the name of the storage pool, which is pool. So now we actually changed some permissions on that storage pool. So, no, so not everyone can access it. And now you're actually done. Um, what you can do now is open File Explorer, uh, go to this PC, and map network drive. I already have this one with a different IP number, so 11. And down here, connect using different credentials. Finish. Now you type the uh, user uh, username that you created. It was with. And then the password. Remember credentials. Was it with? Wasn't it? Uh, Yeah, with was... okay. Yeah, there you go. Phew. <laughs> so now you have a network drive storage, and now you can uh, copy stuff to it uh, or create a new folder. Let's see if I have some big files here. Uh, Windows it's 10. 
copy. You can create a new folder here named ISO files, for example. And you have permissions to do that, so yeah, it's pretty fast. Maximum one gigabit speed. So now you have your storage NAS, your own storage NAS. So yeah, it's, it's pretty fast as well, so uh, yeah. And 8 gigs of memory on the uh, TrueNAS is enough for basic stuff like this, just sharing. If you're going to do more stuff, you need a bit more than 8 gigs. So there you go. Your own NAS computer in your network. So yeah, see you later.